Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, Tesla pricing does not make any sort of sense. We've got an analysis. We took a look at the cheapest, most inexpensive Teslas out there in inventory for the Model 3 and the Model Y and compared the both of them to see which vehicles are the best deal and spoiler alert, the Model Y is the best deal across the board. So we're going to take a look at that plus a variety of topics. But before we do that, let's roll that intro really quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal in Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla via a credit union. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. So let us take a look at this. What we did was was we took a look at the inventory prices for Tesla Model Y and the older Model 3 and of course compared it against the brand new Highland upgraded new Model 3 as well to really see which vehicle is the best deal considering the 7,500 federal tax credit numbers and not considering any sort of state incentives. But of course, don't forget if you're looking to purchase a Tesla, don't forget to use a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description. So you can get the referral code bonus, which is three months of full self-driving, which is valued at $600. So we took a look at inventory. We found the cheapest, most inexpensive Tesla Model Ys out there. Now that the federal tax credit, the 7,500 is factored in completely, it is much easier to see which vehicles are the best deal out there. And so here it is. Here it is on a spreadsheet for our market, which is probably similar to most markets out there because there's a ton of inventory that's out there in plenty of markets. So we've got the Model 3, the old one in this top left corner. We've got the brand new Model 3, new upgraded Highland in the bottom left. We've got Model Y in the top right. And then we've also got Model Y, I guess, again, in the top right, uh, bottom right to compare it against kind of left to right versus Model 3 versus Model Y. So taking a look at it, you can see Model Y across the board in every single trim is a better better deal for the most part. So you can see right here between the Model 3 standard range, the old version, that's a purchase price of $39,340 because it does not qualify for the tax credit. Buying a Model Y standard range is $5,570 difference, but it's actually cheaper to buy a Model Y real wheel drive. Of course, only if you qualify for the 7,500 federal tax rate because it's a point of sale discount that you can take it off. Going to the Model Y long range, you can see a purchase price of 42740 Model Y is after the tax rate 38090 which is $4,600 less when you buy a Model Y versus a Model 3. The only vehicle that it actually makes sense for between Model 3 and Model Y is the Model 3 and Model Y performance. You actually have to pay more money, actually $4,500 more to upgrade from a Model 3 performance to a Model Y performance. So Tesla pricing just doesn't really make any sort of sense at the moment. And really, if you're looking for a Tesla, a Model Y is going to be your better deal at the moment across the board. And probably Tesla is looking to do this. They've doing, they're doing this on purpose because Model Y inventory is the highest level inventory that exists at the moment for all different Tesla trims, Model 3, Model Y. Y, S, and X. And so certainly Tesla wants to sell these vehicles ASAP. Jumping down to the Model 3 Highland new upgraded version Tesla versus the Model Y. You can see Model Y standard Range Rover Drive is much more expensive than the Model Y about $5,000 more than the Model Y standard range if you factor in the tax credit. And if you take a look at Model 3 Highland long range versus the Model Y long range, if you factor in the tax credit, it is a $9,000 difference. 
in favor of the Model Y between a Model Y and a Model 3 upgraded Highland. So really, if you're looking to buy a Tesla, Model Y is kind of the best value at the moment. If you were to ask me, is it worth paying $5,000 more to go from a Model Y standard range to a Model 3 standard range? Absolutely not. And definitely not if you're going to go from a Model Y long range to a Model 3 new Highland. Not worth the upgrade at all unless you're getting like good trade values or if you're trying to compare the two or something to purchase between the two then yes uh, or really no actually you would still get the Model Y long range at the end of the day but definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it are. Let me know what you're thinking. Which vehicle do you think is the best deal? Obviously we know that the Model Y is the best deal and that's probably why a lot of people are clicking and starting to look to purchase the Tesla model Y, but we're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. If you down below in the description is the Patreon link to support the channel. So definitely check it out if you are interested. All right. Tesla 54, should you lease or buy it? Any updated Model 3 ludicrous? Congrats on the Cybertruck. Thank you, Tesla 54. Tesla 54, should you lease or buy it? It's a great question. Do you qualify for the tax credit? Then definitely, I would say buy it. Uh, if you're looking just for a short-term vehicle, then maybe lease it. Any update on Model 3 Ludacris? Not in the moment. I think it's going to be a su summer type of launch for that. Belligerent, thanks for coming in. And Ponzi, that thing will get you killed or caught on fire. Oh, like a Tesla? Uh, I mean, I guess, um, no. But uh, I guess maybe the media, you believe the media on that, which makes sense. All right, what else we got? In this next topic, Cybertruck orders have been delayed. If your order got pushed, there's actually one way to bump up your order and take delivery ASAP. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just running in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Mike. He posted this. Cybertruck, Cyber Beast delivery times have moved from mid to late 2024 to late 2024. All wheel drive changes again from February to April to now March to May. So I think this, in fact, is Tesla's most in-demand vehicle because the delivery dates have been pushed and there actually is a waiting time, the biggest waiting time for all Tesla vehicles. And now, so if you're looking to get a Tesla Cybertruck, it's going to be March through May, which is actually a really weird window, actually. That's what, three to five or two to two, two to three month window, which I don't think Tesla really does that. So they're really trying to push it out. But Tesla certainly is looking, is already starting to deliver in plenty of areas. I just saw like Montana, an owner in that order or order holder in that area got their VIN. So congrats to them. But there is one way to bump up your order and actually a pretty big way to actually do it, do that, which I'll show you in a second. But here's another post from Gregor Truck. It seems like 80 cyber trucks were seen at Gigafactory, Texas. So it looks like Tesla is certainly look up to bump their, or bump up production. So if you're waiting, do, don't, I wouldn't be waiting or worried too long because certainly there's probably going to be a lot of deliveries this quarter or even next quarter. But here's a way to actually bump up your order if you didn't in case you miss it there actually is a way to get and use referral credits to bump up your order it actually costs 30,000 referral credits and here's a post from Matthew who actually got a bunch of friends and family I would assume to get to do a ton of test drives it seems like he was able to do 24,000 or 20 get 24,000 points with 24 friends doing a bunch of test drives it seems like he's also getting some slack from it but can't hate the person right for trying to get their cyber truck asap and was able to get it uh, really fast but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on it let me know what you're thinking we're gonna jump into the next topic after this water break i had one more i think i missed it where did i put it i had one more topic let me see just like a news topic. I mean, we'll take it for whatever it's worth type of topic. You took me uh, Thanks for coming in. Server Beast order delayed again. Uh, I need 30k points to get accelerated. Yes, uh, 100% on that one. Yeah, Cyber Beast is like the most in demand. I guess they really are having issues with that tri motor and trying to get that production out, which is unfortunate. 
In this next topic, if you're looking for a Ford Lightning, it seems like a price cut, a price drop for that truck might be imminent. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just running in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to car dealership guy. He posted this. Ford dealers are hitting me up, telling me big price cuts to the Ford Lightning coming this week. Pretty interesting to see for sure, because maybe, maybe this uh, cyber truck is actually having an impact on the Ford Lightning demand, or is the Ford Lightning just too expensive at the moment and just makes, probably just doesn't make a lot of sense at the moment. And really, I think a lot of electric vehicles are having a hard time selling versus Tesla, or even Tesla is probably having a hard time as well. And that's why we're seeing a lot of price cuts across the board. But right now, the Ford F-150 Lightning, I mean, it seems to Decently priced. Pro starting at fifty thousand dollars. XLT at fifty five thousand dollars. Lariat at seventy k and a platinum at ninety one thousand dollars. So maybe there's going to be a price cut coming soon. I mean, it would be pretty interesting to see how much lower they can get this truck to actually be down. But I guess we'll definitely wait and see on that. Definitely some pretty interesting stuff. But the accelerated option is currently not available, just waiting for it to come back. I guess a lot of people spent their 30k points, but they're probably just working through it. I mean, I think there's got to be a lot of Cybertrucks coming in the near future. Tesla 54, thanks for the $2 super chat. Thanks for that. But uh, if you're just joining in, welcome. We talked about Tesla pricing with inventory and discounts and things like that. And the TLDR is basically Model Y across the board is the best deal. You can see the differences between Model 3 on the left side versus the old version and the Highland version versus Model Y on the right side of course, with tax credit prices or tax credit discounts factored in. And so really Model Y across the board is a better deal for sure. But thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Definitely check out the links down below in the description to support the channel. We also got some new Cybertruck videos on the channel as well. So definitely check it out. We took it off-roading and uh, damaged it in the back, which kind of sucked. But I mean, we, we learned it's a truck and we've got plenty of React and collabs down below as well. And and oh, don't forget, if you just bought a Tesla, don't forget to use our Tesla discount codes down below in the description. We got Tesla, Vion, Jawa, and Magback and much, much more. But thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. One last question from Vinay. What's your opinion on getting a used Tesla from the website? I would say just at this point, it's a better deal to get a new one, especially because Model Y prices are like this with the 7,500 federal tax credit. Unless you don't qualify for the tax credit, then I can certainly see that. And of and. If there's anybody in the SoCal area, there's one more deal or one more day left on this deal from Bespoke Design Lab. If you're looking to get your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y wrapped, he's running a special till today at $2,100 wrapping for your Model 3 or Model Y, which is a fantastic deal. Hit him up on Instagram, tell him that, ask for the Dennis deal and, and tell him that Dennis sent you if you're interested in a wrap. Really good work, really good shop, and I really like the owner, Jay, so definitely hit him up and tell him I sent you. But thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.